Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Modern Monday. Hopefully this is the first Modern Monday that I will upload. I could do a brief rundown of all the mods that I have done actually. Maybe just keep catch you guys up to speed. I have not uploaded anything. I am committed to uploading this hopefully. This is gonna be a genuine review of, of a custom stitch. Um, steering wheel, I guess. This goes over the steering wheel. I've done this on my last car and it turned out pretty good. I mean, it just goes over the stock steering wheel. But this is the first one that I'm doing that has fake carbon fiber. So this will be very interesting to see um, how that turns out. I also got this package. This should be more carbon fiber to hide up the chrome inside the on the steering wheel. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, let's uh, do a quick brief rundown of all the mods that I have done. So here, as you can see, uh, this has been done a while. It looks like the clear coat's kind of peeling off. I uh, bought these off of eBay. If you guys want the link, I can try to look for them, but just search up M style mirror caps for the Mustang. I got the GT350 fenders. Currently had the front bumper painted. Uh, it's black right here in the centerpiece, kind of just like the GT500s. To me, in my personal opinion, this looks probably the best. A splitter that I made out of ABS plastic. I vinyl wrapped it with 3M super gloss. Uh, I have a RTR style grill. Uh, I took the lights out because some of the lights were fading. I had vinyl wrapped the vinyl wrapped that red, and then that faded. So I just haven't put it back on since. I put the this coyote badge that everyone gets. This, this grill was also from eBay, super easy to install. The most pain in the ass mod that I did was my one of my first mods and it's these custom daytime running lights and halo. There's another mod. I think this was the first mod I ever did was these struts. Other than that, everything is stock. Uh, I have headers coming in. Should be in next week. That'll probably be the next modern Monday. Sticking to the outside of the street arrow diffuser. Um, super aggressive, I love the look. I've seen it on every other car. I went to, for the extra aggressive look and put it out as far as I could. So this is sticking out a good like five, seven inches out. This I wish I put back a little bit more. It's sticking out a little bit, but not too much. I got the custom license plate with the license plate frame, carbon fiber style. I love this one. Uh, says 5 liter V8. And then back to the exhaust over here at the bottom. Last but not least, the Corsa Performance Exhaust Chrome Tip. And that's pretty much for the outside. I vinyl wrapped the interior. I didn't want to do carbon fiber because Literally, there's overlays for that, and every Mustang owner gets it. And plus, like, it doesn't go inside. It kind of just goes over it, because you need a professional to go inside. I did this on my own. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, uh, trim everywhere. Custom carbon fiber GT steering wheel. Custom shift knob and reverse pin. Uh, black to make, uh, give it that floating look. So that was my quick and brief overview of every mod that I've done that I've recorded and just somehow have not uploaded because I don't like the video and I'm kind of just over that mindset. I'm kind of just going to upload whatever I enjoy uploading. Maybe I'll try a note cut style one time. See how I like that. But right now I'm going to be changing the brakes. If you guys want me to show you how to change the brakes on a GT Premium aka the six piston brimbo brakes it's super easy i can show you guys in one in a quick video but we're gonna throw these in and we'll catch you guys on the inside of the car so we're in the car now just finished doing the brakes we got all the stuff i'm gonna open up this package came with two red stitching uh this thing to push in the material into the steering wheel and then double side sticky tape and uh thimble so you don't stab yourself i guess uh, the first step we're going to do is put the double sided sticky tape onto the steering wheel cover make sure you stick it in the middle stay away from the edges otherwise it will 
mess it up. So I recommend just one straight line, just one straight line of double sided tape throughout, right down the middle. So that way when it's on the steering wheel, the sticky tape is like this on this side. Place it in a few spots, the majority of the spots, just not the very top. Now we're gonna put this onto the actual steering wheel. All right, so we find the bottom, which looks like this. Well, obviously the top's gonna be the red line, because that's what I ordered with my steering wheel. We threw this on the top, and the way I found out is probably the easiest for my, when I did this last time, I just stick my, just stick my hands in it. Just make sure I see that at the top. Keep your hands in it, keep your hands in it. Just kind of wiggle your hands downward. I'm just gonna fix it so it sits on there pretty. it. So we're going to start with the adhesive at the very bottom. All right, so now we're going to get our, get our orange tool. We're going to start stuffing extra material inside, underneath. All right, so I finally got the thread. I'm starting to thread the needle through stitches. And this is a very difficult steering wheel compared to my last steering wheel. Um, I think it's just all these little, all these little crevices right here, here, these little flaps, these flaps, this. It's just, I never did such a difficult one but I'm just gonna follow these instructions on how to sew it and hopefully it won't be too much later. Show you the finished product. One hour later. All right, several hours later, I probably should have timed what time I started. Uh, I did take a lunch break, whatever, so it is a little bit later in the day. Let's just get to it, this is what it looks like. So you got the red stitching, obviously, hand stitched by me. Um, this, you could kind of see if, if this was like pushed in more, I don't know, the stitching maybe, or maybe I'll just try to stuff, pull it and stuff it in there a little bit more. Um, but this side I did a really good job on. Uh, this is not so much. This I did really good. This I did really good. Uh, right here I did really well as well. Um, I mean, for being hand stitched, not bad. Uh, I'd give it a eight, eight out of 10. Uh, other than a few little errors I have, you know, I gotta give her this little extra flap. And uh, I mean, if you look really closely up here, you can still see like this won't get tucked in. Same on this side. Um, I mean, it's not too bad back here as well. It just won't get tucked in because there's not enough material. But overall, it's a 8 out of 10. And I'm going to just open this package finally for the first time. So we'll see what these look like. Uh, we're going to throw them on real quick. Ready? And there we go. Throw on the carbon overlays pretty sick I mean this matches this so I mean on the camera looks practically identical which is super trippy um, the overlays are okay I mean they're they're overlays you can still see the chrome on the other yeah right there 
nothing really here. Oh, but we'll put it over here. If you look over here, you can see the chrome, 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 whatever. I mean, chrome up here. Um, I'd say these are also eight. I could throw these in the description if you guys want. Um, other than that, that's it for uh, this Modern Monday. Super difficult mod to install. Very time consuming. Takes a lot of patience. It's definitely way cheaper to buy this than to spend $700 on a steering wheel that, with all the lights and stuff. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment down below what I should do next to the car. Um, peace out, guys.